the ground now. All our frames and trusses are up and we can finally see this renovation for the monster that it is. It's pretty big and the time has come where we've framed up for our V-Lux windows and we're installing, they're going in. The main feature that I'm excited about is the V-Lux vault over the kitchen area. It's such a big, beautiful space. I can see people entertaining there, having a great time, not just in summer, but in winter. And with all that natural light, it's gonna be a great place to hang out. Looks pretty cool. Sure does. <laughs> We have just had all the wide line windows rock up. There is a bucket load of windows and they're looking amazing, so I'm pretty excited. So similar to our last reno, we've kept the white window frames because it works really well with the coastal home that we're designing. Obviously, we are massive fans of integrating indoor-outdoor living, so we have the world's biggest sliding doors leading out <laughs> to the deck that you've ever seen. When you walk from the front of the house to the back, it honestly feels like that back half just opens right up to the outdoors. We're back at the Renault and today is a huge milestone because the roof is going on. Over the last few days, we've been working really hard getting all the colour bond fascia and gutter on, and that means that we can start throwing on all the roof sheets. When you're designing the exterior of the home, the roof plays such a big role in how it all comes together to the point that I pretty much choose my roof colour first. One thing about the colour bond roof going on is that it goes on damn fast. When you get guys in that know what they're doing, the wool goes down, the screws go in, and you see the sheets just going down. It's all happening and it happens at a rapid rate. We're very excited about the roof, but we're even more excited because we're one of the first in Australia to have colour bond matte finish in the surf mist colour. Car is stoked with it. I'm stoked because, you know, we're pretty much watertight now and it's a massive part of the build that's accomplished. With the front of this house, we want to do some really beautiful stone. So we've selected a really nice limestone. It looks great, but it's an absolute mission to set out because you've got to set all the walls out on a bench or on a table and then translate that up onto the wall. I could be at the shops getting a Manny and Petty, but <laughs> here I am, covered in limestone. You don't get a Manny and Petty ever. <laughs> You're stuck here. I'm getting one tomorrow once they're done. The front of the house is quite traditional looking and we've got the gable roof and lots of white. I'm thinking that the weatherboard to be a really, really crisp light. So the boys and myself have been working pretty hard to get basically all the cladding on and those weatherboards are looking stunning, especially at the front. And I, you know what, I really like the corner details on those external corners. The little mitre soakers are just looking great just to give it that mitered profile. It's starting to look really cool. The vision's starting to come together. Our beach house is looking more like a beach house. and. Yeah. You know, the more you do, the more you want to do. And I am so excited to start putting some paint on these walls. I've known all along that I want to go for a white colour scheme because I think that'll look beautiful with the stone detail that we've got around the garage. Can we just say for starters, Cara said I want to paint white on white. So she brought these five different colours of white, which all look the same to me. <laughs> we still want to go for that white weatherboard look, but we want to make sure that there is a slight variation between that crisp white and the trims and the cladding colour. So my decision was easy, yeah, one of those. <laughs> as easy as you make it sound, it's actually a really hard decision and I feel like whites are the trickiest because they look so different depending on the light you're in. Do you like any of the colours? What colour do you like? <laughs> Eight paint samples later, we've found the one, barely beige. Now that Cara's finally locked in the paint decision, it means we can give the go-ahead to our painters to start painting from the eaves down and then we can get rid of our scaffold. I like how you say Cara's finally locked in the paint colour like I took forever. I, I did choose eight paint samples, but you know, I chose the colour within two days. Yeah, no, That's be better than most, you did good. I would think. We painted 90% of the outside of the house and it means that we are ready to start fitting out the inside. We've got our plumber coming, our sparky coming, we're insulating, jip rocking and we're finally getting some finished bedrooms. Coming up next on Long Jetty Reno. And the casement windows. Had to crawl down there into that tight roof space. <laughs> Thank you once again. Can you peel the rest of the paper off? Presented by Rams, your local home loan specialist.